The temperature is rising, but the red carpet is even hotter as the biggest names in music are all here in Las Vegas for the 2022 Billboard Music Awards. I'm Marilyn Rhodes. And I'm Little Nas X. <laughs> Lies! <laughs> Actually, I'm Justin Sylvester, and welcome to our live from Eastream. We are the official, yes, I said official pre-show for the BBMAs. Look at us glowing up all official. I know, Did you guys. we get guys? a blue check? Right? And I don't know if you know this, but we are on the carpet, and there are going to be some huge stars, not only on this carpet, but on the stage. Megan Thee Stallion, Travis Scott, Silk Sonic will all be taking the stage, and I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to hit the right note. Oh, they're going to hit the right notes. I've actually been practicing. Should I should I hit a couple notes right now? Please, there's kids at home. You don't want to. You don't want to hear this. Okay, I'm not trying to embarrass my family, but you know what? I do want to know which artists you guys are most excited to see tonight. So be sure to tweet us at E News or comment below. And who knows? You might just be featured in the show because I'm reading all the comments, and I'm going to be putting them out here and putting you on blast. Get in the comments. <laughs> but right now, it's all about this BBMA's red carpet. So let's take a look at which stars are already arriving. Joining us now is the one and only Lotto. Hey, hey, girl, with that big energy. Oh. Thank you. Welcome to the show, baby. Thank you. I gotta know. I gotta know. How do you pick out this outfit? It is everything. You know what? I can't even take credit. It's my stylist, Zarina Akers. You know, that's all her. And this is Zigman. Yeah. I mean, it really is an Olympic sport getting into these gowns for these shows. Tell me about the prep, girl. Tell me about it. I'm barely breathing. Can you tell? <laughs> same, same, unfortunately. And at the 100 degree weather. Okay, look, this Vegas heat is not to be played with. Uh, you know, you cannot play with it. And speaking of playing with, nobody plays with Mariah Carey, okay? Mariah Carey does not answer the phone for just anybody. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. the hell did you get Mariah on the remix? You know what? I'm still asking God. I'm still asking God. Mimi is just a humble, beautiful, sweet soul, and she blessed me with her vocals, not only her vocals, but just good advice and just that that, that comfort that you don't get in the industry no more. You know what I'm saying? So now, that, so now that you've broken that ice, do you feel like, you know, for the next track, you could just text her right away and be like, girl, I need you for the next one. Mimi, if I call Mimi right now, y'all want me to FaceTime Mimi? Yo, <laughs> can we FaceTime Mimi? Get, get the clutch. Get the clutch. Get the clutch. <laughs> Yeah, right now, look, there are a lot of amazing females in this industry. I got to know, since you're the expert, uh -huh. who's got that big, big energy that you like? Mm, let me think. My girl Lizzo, because I'm going on tour with my girl in a couple months. But oh my God. We're coming. That's going to be some we're real coming. energy. You have to. This is my first arena tour. I'm just like, ah! I'm nervous. Are we here? You, you play wheelie, we're there. We're, we are seriously there. <laughs> no, you've got some amazing energy right now. So what was the song you were blasting before you stepped on this carpet? What was I playing? I had on my Beyonce playlist. Okay. I had on my Beyonce one. playlist. The Beijing so shuffle. The Beijing you know, you just gotta get you. that, like, sassy, yes. You can put freaking dress Who on. Do it like <laughs> Nobody. No one. Literally no one. But you know what? I mean, you get close. Hey, baby, we can try. We can hope. We can shoot for the stars. <laughs> well, have Loving a good it. night tonight. Thank we love so seeing you here, and we love your energy. Thank you so much. We hate to see you go, but we love to see you going from the back. Give it to him. Give it to Gary. Don't get excited. Don't get too, get, don't get too excited. <laughs> Bring a leg tonight. <laughs> Bye. Have a good one. You guys, okay. I'm about to embarrass myself because I'm going to try to sing with Maxwell live right here on your TV. Oh my God, you look amazing. <laughs> Yo, you What's came happening? there. Pleasure to I'm be here. I'm trying to keep it up. I'm trying to keep it up. Uh, I'm amazed. Uh, so that was a hot change. That was a hot change on live TV right here. Oh, it was hot. Oh, it was sexy, it baby. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm going to embarrass myself, but I have to do this. 
Yeah. We don't have the rights to the song. We don't have the rights. So only he can sing it. Do you give us permission? You can sing it. If you don't know, then I'll sing. So don't ever wonder. Don't ever wonder. We're going to get in trouble for that later, but it's totally fine. It was really worth it. Okay, your new track, Off, it just helped you score your eighth career number one. What does that mean to you? I'm like, I was, I, y'all, let me tell you, my greatest fear was that there would only be one song. So every time something happened, I was like, wow, this is happening, and this keeps happening. And, and, and honestly, it's... It's a testament to soul music. It's a testament to the history of, of R&B and also the fans and how they just stay with you. Because, you know, I usually, like, disappear for seven years. You know, you do. <laughs> you do that hermit thing and then come back and come back and charge us 250 to go see you in concert. You hit us hard. You hit us no, hard. No, I'm paying it. I'm paying it, though. I'm paying it. <laughs> um, I just, you know, for me, I just like to go away and have a life and remember what it was like to not know this because even right now this feels just as new as it did when I first started and I think that's kind of why I step away but I'm just grateful I'm just grateful that the music still connects with people and that we you know we get to do what we love you know let's so, talk so about crazy speaking of the music because we've been talking about you know our hype mixes our freaky deaky mixes yes. and yes. Maxwell is on everybody's freaky deaky mix seriously though so who's on your Freaky deaky, let's put this on and get this going mix. Okay, you ready? Yes. yes. HR. That new album has about five freaky deaky records. Oh, for sure. Straight up. Have you hit Jasmine Sullivan yet, though? Of, I mean, roster, come on. Come on. Don't catch feelings. Come on. I mean, we went on tour together in 2008. When she first came out on the scene, she actually gave me my award, which is a weird award to even get, like a legend award at the at the, at the the Soul Train Music Award. So the full circleness of that and to just see her career blossom and to see people accepting her on her terms and not on the terms that, you know, the industry usually makes and conforms women to. I, I love this moment for her and I love this moment also for Mary J. Blige. Yeah, a huge by moment way, for I'm her. I'm kind of scared for Iconic. Billboard's though. Because if you mess up a Mary J. Blige tribute, if you mess they can. up they cannot. crowning the queen tonight, they will Black not. Twitter is coming for you. But Billboard's always gives it to me, so I know they are not going to mess this up. <laughs> They're not going to mess it up. No. They can't. <laughs> it's just to see, to see, um, to see girls that I grew up with in my neighborhood coming through and becoming voices for other ladies that are about to come through. It's uh, it's inspiring. I mean, women need it, and black women yeah. really need it, you know? Yeah. So I'm just happy to be here tonight to sing Lady of My Life and to celebrate the ladies. Amazing. Well, love to see it. Congratulations. We'll see you in another seven years. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just love seeing you. I'm trying. I'm it's trying. Situation. I'm coming on tour with you. He's That's trying. what we're going to do. Looking. You heard my vocals, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we, we got to let him go before Justin does something <laughs> that we can't uh, afford. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you Love so you. much. You. You're such a pleasure. Such 250 I know you're going to charge me to it. <laughs> we, we will pay that money, though. Right? I'm done. We are already having so much fun on the BBMA's carpet today. And you know what? We are not the only ones. Mm -mm. No, we are not. <laughs> It is crazy out here. It is really hot, and this carpet is amazing. This it's carpet just getting hotter with all of these people and phenomenal. all of these arrivals. And by the way, the fans had such a great time here as well. Not just us, the fans. Hey, let's roll it. This weekend, Smirnoff splashed down at the first ever Billboard Music Con and elevated fun to new heights with the new Smirnoff Lemonade Collection. Guests were treated to unforgettable performances by VIP artists like DJ Britney Sky and Ty Dolla Sign. Fans who were 21 and over were invited to squeeze the day at the Smirnoff Lemonade Lounge. As attendees sipped on the new Smirnoff Neon Ice and Seltzer Variety Packs, a simple lemon unlocked once-in-a-lifetime experiences, including this lucky fan right here who won tickets to tonight's Billboard Music Awards. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, sip on Smirnoff Lemonades. What are we doing? How fun was that? So much fun. You know, even though we haven't spoken to everyone who's been on this carpet yet, I feel like I have some favorite arrivals. What about you? Jeff Cameron. 
Dove Cameron. Dove Cameron for me was unbelievable. That's why I walked out the shot. I didn't even want to be anywhere near her. Jack Harlow walked by us. We've got Diddy's entire family here. I mean, right now, actually, wait, you know where I've really been wanting to go? Where? Brazil. Oh. But you know what? I can't go to Brazil right now. So Brazil is coming to us with Anita. Hello. Oh. Oh. You? I was just oh, saying. Goodness. I know you were saying hi to your friends, and we're like, get over here. Hi, how are you? Are you? <laughs> Is this just like a reunion with all of your friends? I mean, yes. I was just saying that we we get the uh, it's opportunity to get to see people that we're always talking, but we don't actually have the chance to see always because we're always like traveling, you know. So I think it's a good opportunity, even more of the after parties happening. You know, uh, you want to tell I mean, us more about I that? I have a very important scientific question. What? Do they make them all like this in Brazil? Like, is everyone this hot in Brazil? Listen, I think Brazilians are very hot. I can't tell if they make it like that because I have a million plastic surgeries. So <laughs> maybe not exactly like this. Maybe after some work done, yeah, yeah, you okay. can get like that. I'm going to need the recipe. So we could try, maybe. Yeah, not try. the body. The body's natural, though. Ooh, hey, well, we hey, saw a lot hey. of it at Coachella, honey. Yes, we did. One of the most talked about performances. You are just on top of the world right now. You are topping every chart. What do these milestones mean to you? I'm so happy. I mean, not only about the numbers and charts. I'm not a person that actually cares about that. But the the fact that I'm the first Brazilian doing this right now in this century. There was a Brazilian doing this before. It was Carmen Miranda, like, uh, in last century. And now having, like, this happening with my country is just a lot of meanings for me, you know? I just want to make sure I represent my country perfectly. Yeah. You're so proud. And by the way, if you're ever on a carpet and like we don't talk about you or talk to you brazilian twitter is after us oh my god oh. your fans ride for you no for sure for sure my fans they are my army and they are amazing they want to see me because you got to understand it's the first time they have this in my country so they want to see it's kind of historical whenever i was performing at coachella they came back to brazil they said it felt like the world cup everyone was like woke up waiting for your set like a, wow. a world cup game you know in a whole country in the whole country so you gotta understand that is the first time they're seeing something like that so they get excited to see me well speaking of a country in this country i heard you say that you have a man in every state yeah, yes we, we wanted so to get to we want to know part of did you did you bring your vegas man or did you import your la uh, man or a brazilian where, man where is that brazilian got, man guys i don't know if i can answer this question tonight uh, who's coming to the after party tonight is a tricky night to say that guys i gotta say it oh my god let's live it open yes. oh. oh he's in vegas bay let's, <laughs> let's live it open <laughs> vegas oh, no. bay come through I have, flight, I have a flight in case i want to come back tonight i have another one in case i want to come back tomorrow we can take decisions on the way I, I heard Jack Harlow might be single, you and you were in that video. Oh, first class, baby girl. <laughs> were you riding first class? I am Jack Harlow's muse when he did first class, you know? Does that I mean that. the collab <laughs> in the future, another different collab? No, no I, I, I mean, that was great to be in his video. I don't, I don't think there's more collabs coming. Amazing. We never talked about it, actually. You are just stunning right now. I can't <laughs> with you. you. Thank you for <laughs> being here. Versace. Give us a little twirl Thank real you. quick. A little twirl. Done. You Done. are fabulous. Here All right, for baby it. girl. We will send you on your way. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> I love your dress. Thank so. you. It's velvet Thank is you hot, so babe. Much. You're so beautiful and so talented. All right. About All to right, join finally, us now. <gasps> we got something for the men's over here. All right. Dan and Shay coming Hello, through. you guys. See y'all. Thank you guys for having us up here. What a vibe. It's hot out, right? Wait, are you guys always this excited to melt in Vegas? Yes, yeah. always, always. No, this Vegas, is Vegas, man. It's, it's fine to melt in Vegas. It feels nice out here. Okay. Now, did you guys talk about the outfit and maybe like a little bit of complimentary looks? We've got this little orange matching in, in here popping. This suit came with a belt, and he was going to wear the belt just to really tie the whole thing. I don't think you ended up doing it, but <laughs> I yeah, I don't know. You wouldn't know, though, because you can't see it. Maybe right. I am. Man. It's a mystery. <laughs> now, you guys had some STEM competition tonight. You're actually nominated in, in a category with all of your friends, Florida Georgia Line, the Zach Brown Band. Are there side bets happening on this? Are there like yeah. some good like, shit talking going on? <laughs> betting a car, betting a house. I, I could win a car. I could take a car. My car barely runs, so that would be really, really nice. <laughs> the trophy would be cool, though, you know? 
know. Are you guys texting each other before the show, or are you going to wait to text after to see who comes out with the win? Oh, man. You never like to see, you know, you don't want to jinx it. You know what I mean? We're all lucky to, to be involved with, with so many amazing people. Like you said, those are all our friends. So to be in this category is an honor and to be here. I and mean, we're in Vegas. I can't complain. We're here. We get to perform tonight. So it's going to be a really good night. So afterwards, even, you know, win or lose, we're going to be partying. So we just got a picture with Diddy. That's like crazy. Yeah, we're just texting it to all our friends back home. Like, you're never going to believe this. <laughs> no. Could there be a Diddy collab in the future? Because you guys have had some fun collabs. Yeah. You already got Biebs on a track. So what do we you think? Do I think we should put that out into the world. He invited us to a party tonight. So that was like the coolest thing that ever happened to us. We're like telling our friends, like, tonight's going to be a good night, dude. <laughs> we're telling everyone to manifest the collab that they want tonight. So, hey, put it out there. Put it out there. I got to know. Yes. Personally, I've always wanted to know this. When you go to a wedding and they say the bride and groom will dance to their first song and it happens to be you guys. Is it weird? Like, do you want to just like kind of hide a little bit just in case they pass you a microphone? It's honestly the coolest feeling in the world. That's like the biggest day in somebody's life and of all the songs that have ever existed in history, if they pick ours, that's surreal to us. We've uh, we've been lucky enough to play at a few weddings. Yeah. We played at Bieber's wedding. We played at Joe Jonas's wedding out here with Sophie, like at the chapel out yeah. here in Vegas. That was a wild, that was a wild time. It, it, I mean, I'm always prepared in case, I feel like that, like you said, it's the coolest moment that you could possibly have. It's a huge honor. I mean, that's a big moment in someone's life. They're going to always remember that. So I'm always ready, at, you know, by the by the side if they want to hand me a microphone. Well, hold on. I'm so well, hold glad on. you said hold that on, because, because we, we know well, some people. You know, you know, I didn't get to have my wedding party. I did a COVID <laughs> wedding and it was really secretive and no one was there. So I think for the party, since you're here, what do you think? There we go. Done. Is it tonight? You having it tonight? I mean, it could be tonight. I could yeah, call my husband to get up. He's ready to go. All right. It's perfect. I'm here. I'm, I can do it. But there are a lot of celebrity weddings coming out. We have Jen and we have J Lo and Ben. You know, Colin Jost, and we have all these weddings coming. Whose wedding would you want to sing at? Oh man. Oh man. That's Ben and Jen, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. Ben's wedding, right? It's like, like it's just Ben's wedding. I'd go to Ben's wedding. <laughs> and Jen, the one and only Jay. I saw Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox walking around down there. That we could be that. a good we one too. Jam, man. Right? Yeah, they're out. They're rocking. I mean, this hair too. I'm jealous. I know. You look. You're looking amazing. amazing. You're talking about mine, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. You're clean, and you guys haven't even shed a, a bead of sweat. Well, we're gonna let you guys have fun tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by, you guys. Congrats Congratulations. on everything. Hey, thank you. Okay. Oh, anytime, anytime. I'm telling you. Bye, guys. Everyone. See you. All right. You too. All right. Joining us now is Dixie D'Amelio. Yes. Hi, Dixie. Oh my gosh, the mermaid hair, the dress, the gems. You're dazzling. How are you? What's happening? I'm looking for the family affair. Normally, you roll in with everybody. Oh, are they here? Uh, no, just my dad this time. I was just saying, my mom got a billboard for Mother's Day. Bring my dad to the Billboard Awards. I feel like that's an even trade. That is very even. Right? I'm into that. I'm into that. Now, you're about to go on tour. What are you most excited about? I just love performing. I feel like... It's just so much adrenaline and so much fun, and I just have been dreaming about what can I do? How can I move my arms to not be awkward? And like, I'm so excited and ready, and I want to go right now. What was the dance move that was like the hardest thing for you to master when you were gearing up? Okay, there was like one where we had to like roll down. I did oh. that for Jingle Ball and my body doesn't move. I literally just posted a TikTok about that yesterday. Like I have no, my brain doesn't connect to my limbs. So like, it's all awkward, but I feel like I can do it. I'm just, it's confidence. It's all confidence. Anyways, I can relate to you on that one. My brain is not connected to the body roll. You know, especially after five drinks in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you bringing on tour that's just going to make you feel like home? I was just asked this. This is so embarrassing. Um, I have a stuffed animal that I bring everywhere. Its name is Moo. It's a little cow. And yeah, I can't like leave home without it or we'll have like a panic attack. So. That's like Aaron. I, never, I can't leave home we, without my stuff animal right here. I'm here for you, baby. Okay, you've been begging for a puppy. And Noah's like, you can't have this puppy. How are you going to take care of this puppy? What is the status of the puppy? The status is I'm trying to get Noah to get one. And I, like, surprised him with puppies at his birthday. I'm like, they're $500. They're adoptable. Like, they need a home. Please rescue this puppy. And he was like, I don't have time. Oh, okay, Oh, I fine. see what you're doing. You're trying to get Noah to get the puppy. So you you don't have to have the puppy full time. Yes. You can be the cool stepmom who comes yes. in and oh, give him all the love and the smart. treats. Don't that have is to the say no. You know, thing ever. Yeah. That's strategic. I really like your style. Okay, let's talk about music. Yes. 
what's happening with this debut album? So I have a single coming out May 27th called Wild, which I'm super excited about. And I feel like that's going to be the new transition for all this new music. I feel like everything on my album just sounds totally different from what I was doing. I really focused in since February working with Jenna Andrews and Stephen Kirk, who are both amazing writer, producer, and really finding what I want to say, my sound, and they like listen to me, which I really appreciate. So everything that I have coming out, I think is more me and stuff I'm really excited to be singing. Amazing. We love you and congratulations and have some fun in there. Yeah. And we're, we're going to find you that puppy. Yeah. Go celebrate. <laughs> have a Bye. good one. Oh my gosh, she's just the cutest person ever. No, no. I'm sorry, you guys. Machine Gun Kelly. Just stepped my husband, up to the scene. My husband, Machine Gun Kelly. Uh huh. Get up over here. Get in here. Hello. I can't stand too close. Am How I going to. How are you? Hey. <laughs> Can I first start off by saying your acting is unbelievable? I was not oh in shock, God. but I was like, wow, this guy really hit it. Wow, thank you. Thank you. We'll see what you think of my directorial debut next Friday when, it, when I'm, I put a, I'm putting a comedy out, uh, which I'm starring in also. And so is my fiance and a couple other friends. So I love we'll, see, we'll see how I do in that field. I'm into it. Okay. Thank you. So I just heard that these nails right here are worth thirty thousand dollars. Let me go ahead and take one of those. Um, my so here. how did this all come about? The fit. I'm loving your fashion. You always step up with something that really impresses us. Thank you. Um, this is Dolce Gabbana. I think a lot of inspo for me is always like cartoons or animation, uh, anything Tim Burton. I always kind of relate to his body types, you know, like Nightmare Before Christmas or something like that. As far as the nails, we thought we would just do something unique. You know, uh, we're going to strip these off, uh, turn them into rings and then auction them off and then just give 100% of the proceeds to charity. Wow. That's amazing. Oh. So, now, I, my I nails love, would sell for right? that much. Nobody wants these nails for anything. Now I got it now because you have a vision. Everything you do is so well thought out, and it seems like you have a lot of input. So what's up with this wedding? Are you going to be that groomzilla who has to have everything perfect? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say too much. I, I, it's it's going to be weird. It's going to be completely out of the box. And, uh. So basically you're in charge of the menu, the decorations, the flowers, the playlist. <laughs> what else do we have? No, she's, she's a genius. She'll, uh. I'll, I'll, you know what I'll, I'll say? I'll, I'll throw the the reel out really far, and then she'll reel it back in when it's when if it's too far. We all know? need that, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, we we all need that. You are an amazing human being. Thank and you. We are rooting for you. You're so kind. What's going on? This no, is we just love you. We're obsessed with no, you. I saw your movie and I was like, oh my god, this. Guy. And my producer was like, was it good? I'm like, this guy is so good. I can't believe it. it's wild. I've just sent the movie to everyone. I'm just like. Blown away by you, truly. Yeah. So congratulations. Well, you're about to turn this fake tear into a real tear. So I'm. I'll let you go. We all want you to ruin the life. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Literally. Bye. Have a good one. You guys, all eyes are on Las Vegas tonight as music's biggest stars begin to pour into the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Uh -huh. And before they take their seat inside, they have to walk right behind us on this silver carpet. Yeah, we are seeing it all. And if you ever wondered what it's like to be in the midst of all this award show frenzy, well, you don't have to imagine anymore. Check out this exclusive behind the scenes look at this year's Billboard Music Awards. Invited guests will first walk underneath a big banner welcoming them to the BBMAs and onto the silver carpet. As they turn the corner, it's time to show off their fierce fashion. After striking a pose, the stars will walk down the press line. Now as the official BBMA pre-show, we have prime position in the middle of all the action, so you're not gonna wanna miss a minute of exclusive interviews with our favorite celebs. After stopping by our platform, the BBMA finalists and presenters will continue on this long path. Finally, the stars will beat the heat and head into the MGM Grand Garden Arena where host Sean Diddy Combs will be waiting to get the party started. Music's biggest stars are all right here, and we are coming to you live in Las Vegas for the 2022 Billboard Music Awards. Yes, and it's becoming a very star-studded on this red carpet as the biggest A-listers in town start to arrive. Yeah, we've been able to speak to some, and it's, I been, know. Ooh, it's been fun. 
Hey. I know. And you know what else has been fun? This fierce fashion. Because we're getting a whole lot of skin as the stars are trying to beat this heat. Yeah. Let's see who just arrived. Dove Cameron, stunning. She's showing some skin. She is in red. And I love that this isn't a red carpet. Therefore, this dress really stands out. She's popping. She's illegal. She is illegal. You know, she truly is the most illegal person out there. She, This woman should not look this good. And another woman who should not look this good all the time is Becky G, everybody. Oh, gosh, Becky G. Is she just not an angel? Murdering it every single time. So beautiful, so well thought out. She's amazing. There she is with those feathers. Vegas showgirl. Fabulosity. Uh, I'm just hearing the Glass Animals is about to join the show right now. I think live. we have all four of hey, the animals hey, here. Hey, we got our animals We're about here. to turn this into a zoo right here. Hold on to you as we step in. <laughs> Hi, friends. Get on over here. How are you guys today? We're great. Hey, we're great. Yeah, we're good. How are you guys? We're good. So have you guys ever had that moment where, like, you hear a song on the radio, you don't know who it's from, but then a year later you find yourself still singing the song? A whole year and later. And it just happens really to be annoying. glass animals. <laughs> and it's like, when will people stop playing this song? <laughs> but, like, you've literally topped the chart for, like, a full year. What is that like for you guys? Do you get tired of hearing yourself? <sighs> long ago no I, no I actually no because it's such a meaningful song to me it, like it's for me it's got it started like in a bedroom and it was really really personal so I know when I, when I hear it I think of the, it's about someone's about missing someone yeah. and I think of that person and it's like it's actually really nice hearing it sometimes you hear it and well, I was just woke up in my hotel room and it was coming out of the swimming pool next door and so yes yeah, it's, it's nice well you guys are nominated for four tonight correct yes yes you guys are nominated for did four they not tonight. tell you i think someone told we us told. what's the one you are hoping to win the most Ooh, i don't know we're just delighted to have been nominated <laughs> we're delighted to have been nominated That's the correct all. Answer. yeah okay, what about the fact that lil nas x said heat waves is his favorite song what like wh like what yes. kind of compliment does that mean yes there's no higher praise there's no higher praise we're huge fans is he i don't know if lil nas x is coming now but, um, but if he is, like, will you run up to him, hug him, say, hey, we should work together? We, uh, yeah, we are. We are the most excellent big hug. I, I might have a number. By the way, can I just say the Brits could say whatever they want? They could curse us out right here, and we would yeah, be like, what? sure, yes, that sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we cursed you out, it would be yeah. bad. Really <laughs> it wouldn't be good. We're looking forward to it after this, okay? Yes. All right, you guys. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Have fun tonight. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. All right. Oh, we are about to get on planet her with the woman she can be our woman biggest woman, star woman, right now woman. doja cat the velvet you, the velvet. you see go. i wanted my nipples out and they said no but you can have them out and it's not a crime come on now i know okay but really tell us about this look like we've got we got a planet right here we got the ears on the ears like anatomy and space right it's yeah. giving me everything. Your ears and the toe toes. Oh, oh, the toes are here too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the toes. Okay. Can we get Can we those get there? toes right there? Toes, ears. Ears, knit every thousand ears. Toes She's ears. giving everything to us. New song that we're playing yeah. for the uh -huh. children. It's a new baby chart. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 14 yeah. nominations tonight. What's the one that, if you got to take it home, would feel the best? I. Come on. Yeah. I know there's one. I didn't read them, uh, or, or in a while I haven't read them. I, I have very bad memory. That's something that I'm infamous for. And uh, yeah, I don't know what Any to of them say. would do. Let's just Any make sure you're not in the bathroom. Do. Let's make sure you're not in the bathroom. Yes, <laughs> right. No peeing today and no pooping. That, that takes longer, but I would never dare. Doja, you are just re receiving all of the praises. You are getting all the accolades. What does that mean to you? When Was it a joke when you said that you were leaving and you were quitting on us? Um, it wasn't a joke, not to me at the time, but I think it's also like I'm here because I made music and I want to make music again. And I, I just, it's like, how am I supposed to do that when I'm doing a bunch of other things? So, I, you know, it's, I'm getting a break.
Yeah. And that break is going to be me making music, which is funny. It's uh, like I want to stop music, but I don't. I do. I want to keep doing music. Well, can I go ahead and thank you for the 1.5 million people out there that so graciously signed my petition to bring the Mexican pizza back? <laughs> Dolly Parton, Doja Cat, Mexican pizza. The musical. The musical. Detail. Bitch, what have, is going on? I have none. I have no details. All I know is that it has to do with Mexican pizza, and so I support it. Right. I support a good Mexican pizza as well. Ryan. Okay, so we're asking everyone, what was the song that got them hyped and ready for tonight's red carpet? What was? What were you jamming to? Oh, man. Oh, The Bean Kicked In by Zach Fox. So I'm assuming. There we go. Add it to the playlist. Add it to the playlist. Yeah. I watch a lot of true crime, so I stopped listening to music for a little bit. Um, Hold on. What's your favorite like, true crime? Um... Uh, it's like stories on YouTube, like those 40-minute videos of them explaining like the crime and like how it happened type stuff. Okay. I like um, uh, Mr. Ballin, Mr. Ballin. Okay. What's that one? He's like a YouTuber who does like uh, stories on, you know, people who have done crime. Oh, we're doing that. No, no, we're, we're here. I am a true crime junkie. Right? I'm the weirdo that likes to watch all the shows based off the true story, so I might have to get on that one. Thank you for that I'm recommendation. I'm going to some good ones. Yeah. Doja Cat, congratulations on all your success. We love night. seeing you. Bye, babe. Kill it tonight. All right, this carpet is so crazy right oh. now. You guys, yes. do we see this moment back here? The Chloe, Chloe Bailey, Bailey Doja Cat moment right here. Uh, uh, my God. Chloe, are you joining us? She's coming back. She's coming back. She said she'll be back. She is going to come back. You guys, it is hot here in Vegas, but you know what else has been heating up all day? The fashion. The fashion. Let's take another look at which stars have stepped onto this BBMA's carpet. There's Jackie Jack riding in first class on this carpet. I feel like he won like the Swaggiest Man of the Year award. Am I wrong? He kind of is the swaggiest man, like very unassuming for that moment with him. But I'm loving whoever is styling him. The things that he's wearing on these red carpets is just phenomenal. Yes. Exquisite. And another person we love to see, Lotto, giving us Lotto. all the body, all giving the moments. Giving a Lotto body. This woman came out. It feels like she's at freshman that all the senior girls hate because she's so damn pretty and all the boys love her. That's what Lotto is giving me in the music game. She is just that one freshman who you're like, how did you get that good hair? But she's also good people. You know, sometimes when you talk about those people that, oh, everyone hates that could be really intimidating. She's just so down to earth. She's just so lovely and nice and grateful to be here. And she's having such a great moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up on the carpet, Liza Koshy. Liza, oh, Liza Koshy gave me some Cardi B vibes tonight. She did. I had to do a double take. I'm like, is that Liza or Cardi? With the long pony. She did something fun and funky with the dress, giving us body. This is very sophisticated. And this is why I love the Billboard Music Awards, because everybody pushes the envelope, but it's always just so perfect and amazing and just so out of this world. This is one of my favorite carpets of the year. It really is the most fun because, you know, people are just pushing the envelope. Yes. And because it is so dang hot here in Las Vegas, we have to serve body. Right. I mean, like you guys haven't panned down yet, but Justin's not wearing pants and I got a thigh high slip. No, and I'm not to take my nipples out like Doja Cat. Hey, Doja said we can. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mommy. Ty Dolla Sign also on the carpet. I want a close-up of that look. By the way, giving me, is he not serving you? I am Lenny Kravitz. He is giving us a little bit of Lenny Kravitz with like the chain mail, chain mesh top. And of course, the chain necklace is always opening up for us. And I love that rap is taking a moment and exploring. You see all these rappers coming out and they're getting in touch with fashion and they're working and it's amazing. But you know what? Again, I'm about to freak out again. Y'all don't even know who's out. about to walk up. Michael Buble is in the building and is about to walk up on this staircase. I know that everybody in here is super excited. Michael Buble. Michael Buble, everyone. Hello. With your beautiful his wife. Hot, sexy wife. What is this day night out? This is day night out. Yeah. Do you know what's hilarious? This was like, we literally, it was like, what's better in a day night? You know, sushi, maybe leave, you know, getting away from the kids, coming and doing a red carpet. How cool. Well, by, are you the woman behind all of these songs? Is it all about you? It's all about me, okay? Yes. No, 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 no. Tell us more. No, it's true. It's not a lie. No. Are the, lie. Do the kids just think you're the coolest when you go out to events like this? Are they like, no, please take us? What do you think? 
No, what? They don't know. We didn't really tell they, them. They, yes, this time we didn't tell them. Yeah. No. They're going to find out when they see TikTok we're tonight. Only, we're only here for a few hours. They we flew in. Like we flew in to do this, and we were home tonight. So they won't know. Yeah, they didn't like the idea of us being in the plane just oh, this, at the same time. all of that, yes. So. Okay. All right. We're doing a little bit of the right. separation anxiety. I can relate to that with my little one right now. You know this is so crazy, Michael Buble. You are the Frank Sinatra of our generation where we're going to go back and tell our kids, you don't know nothing about music until you hear this Michael <laughs> Bublé Christmas album. You sound album. like me, dude. So you sound you, like me. Is that what you have to tell My day. <laughs> yeah. But how beautiful is that that you are a generation's epitome of song and performance? It means so much to me to be a small part of protecting the greatest music that America ever gave to the arts. And I love it. And I love that I can look across the aisle and then people like Lady Gaga and Connick Jr. and Sankati and people like Jamie Cullum. There's a bunch of us, Diana Krall. There's yeah. a whole bunch of us, Zilma Clown Savant, that love this music and protect it. And hopefully, if we're lucky, we keep it alive and growing and reintroduce it to new people. And, you know, for me, how cool is it for me, too, that I do that and then I get to, like, you know, go on the radio and battle pop artists with songs I write. Right? It's, it's like the best of both worlds. But it's so funny because, like, you know, like, I always call, there's one man in music who's, like, kind of that wine snob that if he sniffs it and it's not the bomb, he's letting go. For David Foster to give you a stamp of approval yeah. Yeah. is so huge. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's funny. We were just talking about this. Like, uh, I've been so, you know, this record I have out right now is, I've got, I sing with Willie Nelson. It's produced by Sir Paul McCartney. I have people like Bob Rock and Greg Wells, these great producers. And anytime someone like that gives you their stamp of approval, it's impossible not to be grateful. I mean, that is, like, you know, that is a huge, a huge thing to be an artist and to know that they trust you enough with their art. Do you smell that? Yeah. It smells so good, doesn't oh it? Like, ooh, is that we, a Mexican we can't pizza? Tell, we can't talk about what we're smelling right now. <laughs> okay, but someone you left off talking about this album was your eight-year-old son yeah. who helped co-write the lead for Hire. Yeah. What was that experience like working with It was great. I mean, Ryan Tedder is a great writer and a great friend, and we had such a fun time writing the song. And uh, he was so open. I said to him, hey, my kid came up with this hook, and... How crazy, right? Wow. And it's cute because I called Lou and uh, I basically said, you know, we recorded the song. And my son, was he was there on speaker. And Noah, what's the first thing he asked? Am I going to make money? How much? Yeah. <laughs> is my allowance increasing? My eight right. a genius. How much money am I going to make? By the way, you? he is my child. Now, I have to know, your husband is one of the most romantic people. Is he really, though? He is. You're lying for the record. <laughs> you know, I have a bad sense of occasion, but I think I'm romantic in the way of, like, I love I love my best friend with everything, and I do stupid things, like, you know, like little things, like around the house, and I'm not great on birthdays so much. He's kissing naked, and like, no, I'm joking. That's, that's how we have another baby on the way. That's, that's how the family gets bigger. Seven. I saw it myself, honestly. <laughs> That's the truth. Apparently not. But let, too yeah. hot. Too hot. You're too hot. Look at you. <laughs> okay, are we about to, what's about to happen right here with these two? I they know, just right? can't well, keep their hands off each other. I love you guys. Cute. She killed me. She, she walked out in this tonight. so damn cute. I mean, that little one in there. She said, I look like a duck. I said, you look like a cute duck. <laughs> Maybe the most gorgeous duck I've ever seen. So uh, thank, thank you so much. Thank we you, love you guys. You. And you guys are so cute and so sweet. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Congratulations, you guys. Second with you. Yeah, Done. For this. I like that your jacket just kind of hanging up. You know what? It's like 99 degrees. I, I was going to say, I think Times you're two over very here. sneaky. Gotta keep it cool, literally. Congrats on the baby. Thank you. Have you a good one. Okay. I'll just hold this. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> you take that Chanel and run. Thank you so much. Come on, I love you. Okay, Wait. all right, right now. I mean, this is really happening tonight. We're this red carpet has been on fuego. Hot changes is what's happening right now. The Burn hottest change. How you doing? Oh, it's your BBMA's debut tonight. Yes, definitely. Okay, what's the vibe? How excited are you? I mean, I'm excited, man. I see you on TV. You know I mean, so hopefully it's just the way I see you on TV. <laughs> By the way, hold on. Can we just talk about the bling right here? Yes. He's got four of my law degrees on his neck right now. I love this vibe. What's Thank the vibe you're giving with that fashion tonight? I mean, just try to get, you get me, as vintage as possible We're in Las Vegas, you know? So try my best to look like the movies I see. You get me? Yes. You are so fun, and I literally turn up to your music all the time. But do you turn up to your own music, or what were you turning up to tonight before this moment? I was actually turning up to unreleased music, like that's why I turn up to. It's like once it's released for me, it's gone, you know. So 
Just be turning up to the unreleased shit. Unreleased? I mean, are you gonna about, are you gonna pull out your phone and like give us a yeah, little, a little, little sing? Come right on! <laughs> We're your biggest fans right here. She's sleep. No, she got you. She I got you. Sleep. Almost got me, man. Almost. We can cut to commercial if we have to. <laughs> no, we cannot cut we to commercial. Can't com- we actually can't. We can't. We cannot cut, cut to commercial until we talk about when you're getting ready for a red carpet like this and a performance. What's that moment that you get just a little bit nervous? Like, what is it when you go on? Honestly, honestly, it's like as soon as I got to the, you see the edge there, and then you see the all this stuff, the billboard, and then it looks so real. It's like shit. <laughs> <laughs> like this is about to happen. Yeah, yeah, me. Hey, we'll have so much fun tonight. Break a leg. I'm my best. Right. You are unbelievable. Right. That million dollar smile right here, you guys. Hey, oh. Fun. All right, stepping up and joining y'all, us right now. Y'all. The one. She is the anointed one. She is. Beyonce called her the next one. And she's going to be our next interview right here. Chloe Bailey. Oh, she's got to pause and take a photo. And we will let her have this moment right here. By the way, how much fun have we been having right here? We've been having too much fun. I'm out of breath. We haven't even stopped for like a a water break. Gary, are you okay? Are we okay back here, everyone? I thought when Doja Cat brought that nipple here, Gary almost passed out. I almost passed out. And I was really happy about it, though. Hello. Treat me, treat me, I am here for it. <laughs> What's this journey been like for you as a solo artist? Oh, it's been absolutely amazing and exciting and interesting and challenging and all of those words in between. And I'm really happy to be here tonight. I feel really pretty. I'm happy to present and just check out all the great performances. And I'm so happy to see you. So to see we always you. have so many Zooms together. I know, we really do. And now we're like finally here here in person. I, I also saw you at Coachella and we just had such a ball. It's always so we fun had, talking. To you. Yeah, we had the best time. It's always good to see you. So with your new music coming out, who is the first person that you give a preview of your songs to? Like, is it your sis? Is it yeah. Beyonce? Like, who are we talking to? Pally, my godmom and Beyonce and Teresa, my a and So they're like, and my little brother Branson and my godbrother Joe, my whole family. So they're the ones who are always honest with me. And, you know, I never really present my music out until it's like completely ready. And I'm just really happy about it that they've been honest and really receptive with the good feedback so I hope the world feels the same when it comes out for sure and it's been fun celebrating treat me and I'm getting ready for the next one so I just can't wait for people to see me perform more and all of the things that I truly love and what I think makes me an artist yeah yeah now I wonder this because you know in your music it's all about what you deserve and what you expect absolutely Mm -hmm. you talk about respect respect Oh, are you like that in real life? Yes, I am learning that self-love is very key and important, and people will treat you how you teach them to treat you. And I think whether it's in relationships or career or anything like that, I'm learning to speak up for myself. I'm pretty shy. Um, So I'm trying to bring the performer side of Chloe out in my reality and just command things that I need and demand respect and speak up and things like that. So for sure, it's definitely a learning journey, as I think it is for anybody of my age. Yeah. We talk about deal breakers on. On my show, the rundown. We have the joke ones, you know. Oh, if yes. your partner is eating ketchup for okay. dinner, is that deal? So, what is your real life number one dating deal breaker? I don't like cockiness. I don't. Our bad credit. Oh yes. I don't like I don't like cockiness and I don't like bad no, credit. No, and I don't like long fingernails. <gasps> Ooh, and you by the way, oh no no no. I and dirt up. under the nails because you're Ooh. not touching this body with dirt under the nails. We need you manicured and we need you humble. Bottom that is line. an episode Amen. of Fear Factor right here. <laughs> touch, let him touch you with dirty nails. Oh hell no, that will never happen. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chloe, I love you so much. Thank Congratulations you. on everything. Have so much fun tonight. Thank you. Bye. 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 How beautiful is this woman? Breathtaking. By the way, this next person that we're going to talk to, Miss Heidi Kalu. Heidi, hello. Welcome. Flawless. This is fun. Ageless. Thank you. Okay, you've been to so many of these carpets, so many events. Like, how do you decide what your vibe and energy is going to be for the night? I mean, for me, it was this color. I love this. Tony Maduchewski. I love this. I mean, it is boiling hot in Las Vegas. I mean, it is really hot. And I'm wearing gloves. But it was going with the look very nicely. And I was like, I'd rather sweat. Right? You just have to commit for fashion sometimes, right? Exactly. Right? And by the way, I saw that hot man of yours. My husband? Your husband. I know. That man. I know. Talented, handsome. Look at I him. Mean, does he know that he is Where a lucky woman, man as come, well? Oh, come on over here. I mean, that man yeah, is so hot right here. Him. Does he know how lucky he is? Do you know how lucky you are? I am. Come over here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, he's screaming. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> now, your daughter is no, entering the into the entertainment oh my industry. God, she yes. is getting on those catwalks. On a scale from zero to Kris Jenner, how much <laughs> of a stage mom are you, or do you just let her do her thing? I, I really, I let her do her thing. I mean, in the very beginning, I kind of teed up a few things with her, you know, because she wanted to get into the industry, and then, you know, we did the first Vogue cover for Germany together, and then she was always asking me, I'm getting all these things now, mom, which one do you think I should do? And then, you know, I said, maybe this over that. So I kind of guided her and helped her a little bit, but then I let her do her thing. She's been coming to set with me since she's been, you know, baby, baby. In utero. I remember, didn't you walk that carpet? I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. Were you nervous at all when she decided that she wanted to step onto the scene since you've seen so much and you've been in it so long? Or were you confident because she has grown up in this world? I feel like, you know, there is, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly in any kind of industry. I think this industry has so much greatness. You get to travel, you get to meet amazing people. And she loves the artistry around, you know, yeah. and all of that. So because you get to meet, you know, the same kind of people how you are. You know, we love the art and the hair and makeup and the clothes and just going for it. And she is very much like that. So she loves all the fun people around. So I think she's in good hands. That's what she wants to do. So I let her go. She's been a good girl. She has good grades. She just got a yes for her most favorite college that she wants to go to next. So, I mean, as a mom, you always are nervous, obviously, yeah. you know, especially Especially now my second, my son, he's driving. So when they're on the street with those whoa. cars, whoa, whoa. it's scary. <laughs> I so got to ask you, you have graced every magazine cover. You've been on every catwalk. What is your most memorable moment of being a super, I said super, super. model? Ooh, I mean, so many fun moments. I mean, I've had for Sports Illustrated an 18 long foot python wrapped around me once. I remember that. That was crazy. I or, that. you know, not wearing anything. I had monkeys and like into the wild. I mean, swimming with sharks for the Discovery Channel, not in a cage. It was the most <gasps> crazy thing. They were coming by me like, hi, what's going on? I mean, I've done some crazy things. Yeah, my people favorite, do it all. My all time favorite. I remember you walked out, Victoria's Secret, and I'm like, she's got something up her sleeve. You're walking out, and you're not silver, and then you, oh, you pull the string, and, and the snowflake <laughs> yes, came out, I'm done. and the music stopped, and you were like, no, I'm still here. Yes. And you walked out, one well, of my And then you have moments. to walk like you're not wearing like a gigantic heavy backpack, because you know, it's all kind of like a backpack, and then you put your hair over it when you have the straps here. Yeah. And it's so heavy, that thing, but you're like, I don't care, it's fabulous, and here I go. <laughs> she does it with a smile on her face, great posture, and she doesn't miss a beat. Oh right. my gosh, Heidi Klum, you are amazing. Thank you so much you for joining us. What a fun night we have tonight. Right? 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 Oh, We're going to have a good time in Vegas. We have to know, what was the song that was number one on your playlist tonight? Um, tonight, well... Like, what, what song got you hyped up today? Oh, Tiesto at home. There we go. There Add we it go. to the list, everyone. Add it to the list. Okay, wait, we're about to look at some red yeah. carpet arrivals. Do you want to, like, help us do some commentary on the fashion? I saw already Doja Cat, and she looked amazing. How beautiful. Was it Chipperelli? She was Chipperelli. brilliant. How gorgeous. I don't know if it was it Chipperelli. Was. It was. She's always special. She's always extra. I love a girl that brings extra, extra everything. 100%. You know? yes. And by the way, bitch, you're nice. I stay home on the couch. Yes. yes. Yeah. I would stay home on the couch if I had so that I man. Like, I like someone when they really turn it out, and she turn it out. I like her. So did you. We love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. I'm going to do an angel walkout with Heidi Klum. Oh Heidi, gosh. let's go. Let's go. Do it right now. The confidence, the confidence, the look back and in heels. I could never. You slayed it. You slayed it. Okay, let's look at some of these arrivals. We've got Alexa with the blue hair. How do we feel about the blue hair? I love the blue the hair. The blue hair is amazing, but I just want to point out that I just did a supermodel runway walk with Miss Heidi Klum. Did you catch that? We're going to play it in slow-mo later. We're going to play that yeah, in yeah, slow-mo later. It. We got it clipped off I love you. this woman right here pushing the boundaries. Again, this is where you do it. It's billboards. Know, it's this Vegas. Is a, this is a time to have fun. Like, literally, there are no rules on this carpet, so just do what you want. Let your style speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Florence Welch wearing Gucci is next on the carpet. Whatever story book this woman came out of fern gully snow white she is from another world and she by the is. way never deviates from her comfort zone which is always ethereal and it always works on her this woman knows who she is as an artist and it speaks to her music her album just dropped out it's all about choreo mania which was just dancing like a wild person in the middle ages so i really feel like this complements the whole theme to her album and just her new music is phenomenal she's performing she's just she's amazing everything. that hair 
Anita, honey. Can Anita! Get, can you get that Anita up? up mm. They don't make all of them like this. They don't she even make, let us know. I'm telling you right now. Anita came on this carpet so simple. The dress was so amazing, so perfectly cut. And she just rocked it. She is a one of one. They literally broke the mold when they made her. Just looking so fabulous. She even has a pop of color with the shoe, which is really fun. She's keeping the long hair classic. And her eye makeup, I'm obsessed with. I feel like I need to do that for the next carpet. She's just an inspo. She's a life inspo. Murdered it. Murdered. Tonight, it's all about the music. We've got big performances to look forward to, like Ed Sheeran, Dan and Shay, and Machine Gun Kelly. But there also is going to be some big acceptance speeches. Uh-huh. So who will take home tonight's top trophies? Joining us now to break it all down is Billboard News host, Tetris Kelly, everybody. Hey. hey. Uh, <laughs> okay, so big weekend for The weekend. Doja Cat, Olivia oh. Rodrigo. I mean, they are some of the big finalists tonight. Ooh, that's a fight. Do you have some predictions? Do I have predictions? I got something even better for you. Well, earlier on TikTok Live, we actually revealed some of the winners already. Oh. Yeah, that's right. So I can already tell you that the top artist went to Drake. Wow. Yes, that's right. Drake took home a lot of awards. He took home five awards. I'll go ahead and run them down for you. Top hot 100, top artist, top hot male artist, top rap artist, top male artist, period, and top rap album for CLB. Hey, that's that he's going home with a heavy bag. A heavy bag of trophies. And that brings him to 34 total wins. And now he's the most awarded BBMA artist ever. Wow. So much is changing literally right now. I know. And it's so crazy because Billboard is a different kind of award show. Can you talk to us a little bit about how the winners are decided? Well, I think that's what's great about our show, right? You know, a lot of shows are fan of, of voted and a lot of shows have, you know, committees that vote. There's no voting here. It's all based on cold, hard data. So we're talking about streaming, song sales, touring, radio airplay, all this data and our partners, we get it together and that's how we pick our finalists. So it's still fans at the end of the day because fans are the ones that are streaming, but they're paying with their money, their tour tickets, and that's how they get to see their favorite artists win at the BBMAs. So before you just broke all of this news to us, the Beebs, he had 13 awards that yes. he was up for this year and he was about to be the most decorated Billboard Music Awards artist. Is that still in the car? for him if he were to take home all those? He be in the cards anymore, but he did win big. He also won earlier on our show, mostly for Stay, the song he did with Kid Leroy. Justin Bieber took home top Hot 100 song, top streaming song, top collab, top Global 200, and top Billboard Global, excluding U.S. songs. So him and the Kid Leroy won big on TikTok Live earlier. Now, will Justin one day become the most awarded artist? That's up to him. I mean, he's got some time. He's, he's got, got some time. time. Yeah. Him, Taylor Swift, and, and Drake always compete for that title. Okay, you know what? The one thing I'm worried about tonight is that y'all do the Queen Justice. Ooh, we got Mary J. Blige being honored tonight. Yes. Icon Award. How are Diddy and the Billboards planning on doing the Queen right? I got excited when you just said that. I wanted to do the Mary J. kick. I was like, oh yeah, she, oh, she getting good. honored oh, yeah. tonight. You know, you know, hey, skip hey, 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 no, I'm so excited. I'm sure you've guys seen on social media. We've had videos going out there, you know, of some of her biggest people, Taraji Henson, you know, Gabrielle Union. They've been showing her lots of love on social media. Everything else is a little bit of a surprise, but let's just say a lot of those big talents, a lot of Mary's friends are going to show her love in a big way tonight. Y'all. I cannot wait. I got my hoops. No, no. I got the hoops in my bag over here. Do I'm ready. Boots? Do you have the boots? I got, I got the, the boots. boots. I got the hoops. I got the hair. I could do Mary whenever you need me to do Mary. Okay. Listen, you will probably both be in the audience tonight doing Mary real hard. Oh my gosh. Tetris, <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you so much for joining us and for all of that insight. Thank you. I'm glad you guys had me. <laughs> so cute, that man. How cute is this man? It is scorching on this BBMA's red carpet right now, and we're not talking about the heat that we've been talking about all night long. The stars are bringing their fashion A game, and we are loving these looks. Mary J. Blige is right she just, here. She just watched, look at that. Do you Mary, see Mary J. Do you see that? Do you Mary see J. That? is in the house tonight. I. I'm speechless. I'm she done. sucks for no one. She's like, hey, hey. ciao. See you later. <laughs> See you in there. I got to go. Um, speaking of walking off so elegantly. Right. You. Wait, what are you talking about? We have a, I think we might have a, a look later okay. of you walking. I, I don't want to ruin it right I now, but you know, I'm teasing it. Let's Something talk about Doja Cat yeah. <laughs> before you tease me okay, right fine. into crying. Okay, it's Doja Cat. Having a moment in Shirapelli. Like, how amazing was this look? 
us today. I mean, look, do we want to even talk about what is out or do we even just not address the obvious? You know what? I'm going to say don't address the obvious. They are looking right at us. But we're talking about the purse, of course. Planet Her was her album, was the album of the year. And I think she just embodied that looking like an extraterrestrial who just came down to strike us with her beauty. She is not of this earth. She is phenomenal. Oh. And even though she is a little revealing, she's so elegant and <sighs> just so classy at the same time. I'm loving that her hair was pulled that back to just really let those earrings shine. She's you know, holding 20 pounds on each ear. That's what people say about me, that I'm just classy when I let it all hang out. When you let it all Give me hang in, out. wearing the Bottega Bonetta that I was supposed to wear here tonight. Coming through. That he was took, supposed to be my look. outfit. Yes, that was supposed to be it. Well, he killed this. He rocked it. So I actually want to Scott. find out if I could buy this double-breasted blazer after the show or after he's done wearing it. I will take it. They don't even want to send it to dry clean anything. I'll just take it right now. All right, right. So Sh fun. Next, I love the color. We have Sean Diddy Combs. The host with the most. In all white because tonight is his wedding. It is his wedding. I mean. And it's a big family reunion. It's, by the way, he brought everyone that he knew out today. He had DJ Khaled. He had Gibby. He's got Mary J. Blige on French deck. Fontana. He really is taking all the people that he has been with since the beginning out here today. And you have to just appreciate that loyalty. Gotta love it. Oh. Travis and Kylie have stepped onto the carpet. This is live right now. Okay, hold on. Kylie, did she? Who told her to match the carpet? Hold How on, did hold she on. get the memo? Hold I on, didn't hold get that on. memo. This this snapback situation right here, looking absolutely gorgeous as always. And by the way, we were always like, are they or are they not? They well, are. they showed up here tonight they together. Confirmed. They confirmed. She's like, this is a date night. I'm here to celebrate my man. Big return to the stage. I think this is great for Travis. And the fact that he brought Kylie is really sweet. Made it a family affair. You have to. I wonder if the kids are around. Right. I don't know. They're in the hotel with Chris Jenner right now. All right. Probably Watching. listening to Dan and Shay. Our next arrival. How cute were these two guys? the sweetest men ever and i really legit want them to play at my future wedding party since i didn't get that moment to have that turn up i want them there singing to me well i probably will never get married so i'll have them at my 40th birthday in 10 years so and he can wear that orange suit too okay well we will remember that <laughs> right. it's gonna be a big birthday for you dixie d'amelio on the carpet and off-white she is just the sweetest most loveliest girl. I love when I get to talk to her. I love when I see her. She's doing great things with her fashion choices. She's got the mermaid hair. I feel like she's inspired by Kylie Jenner a little bit. Oh, for sure. And by the way, this woman, if you meet her family, if you meet her parents, you understand why she is the way she is. Don't, They're so down to earth and so humble. Don't you want to have like dinner with them all the time? Like I every do. Sunday? You're like, hey, I'm going I over do. to the Emilio's. They never text me back. <laughs> we try. We tried it. I think that Travis and Kylie are actually going to walk right behind us. They are coming right now. You Should know what, we... guys? We don't want to say anything. We don't want to miss we it. We don't want to miss this. So Do we're we going to go to a live cam, and we're going to pretend like, oh, they are They're stopping there. actually talking to somebody. So we're going to come back with okay. more from them. We're holding but our breath. Until then, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan wearing David Coma and, and Dolce & Gabbana. Gabbana. This couple spikes. just gets it. They get it. Those spikes. 30 grand right there. 30 Those grand are on the expensive spikes. Come on, y'all. My pedicure was $34. You know, last year's Billboard Music Awards, they gave us a, such a huge fashion moment, and it was like the most talked about thing ever. It was like, oh my God, did you see MGK and Megan Fox? And they're doing it again this year. It's okay. like they can do no okay, wrong. Okay, hold on. Oh, here we go. We're going to go to a live shop. We're going to go live. Aaron, give us some space. Okay, all right. We got to get out of here. I'm going to attempt to say hi to are Kylie. Are you going to say hi? Should I I'm sit next to you over here? Okay, I'm getting I'm gonna ready. I'm going to just try to say hi to Kylie. She's looking gorgeous. I think she's going to say hi. I'm gonna I'm Rusher. Oh, we have Stormy's here, oh you guys. guys. Hi. Hi, Hi Stormy. Hello. Hello. That was the cutest moment ever. How cute is Stormy? Kylie said hi to us. Kylie said hi to us, but also Stormy. I know, just right? So adorable. Wait, hold on. I just realized your lighting is so much better than mine on this side. Oh, yeah. You, Why have y'all had me you, standing in the gotta, dark the gotta, whole time? You really got to talk to the right people. I mean, you know, I'm going to let you take my life for just like two seconds. Okay? <laughs> All right. You Can we talk that. about glass animals? Those Brits. 
Those, those birds could do no wrong. By the way, and so humble and so nice. One of the longest reigning songs on Billboard's charts. And Number still one. coming in here like they don't know nobody. Like, can you hook us up with Lil Nas X? I'm, I'm like, like, you can do it. You're like, your music, Heat Waves, is literally Lil Nas X's favorite song. Like, you could just phone someone. <laughs> you could literally phone them up yourself. I love the fashion choices that they made tonight. This is super oh, for fun. Sure. It's I would never predict that someone would wear a coat to this Las Vegas heat. The fact but that he's, he's still alive. It confidently. The fact that he is still alive after and wearing smiling. that coat. Okay. The fact that he must have an HVAC unit in that coat. Okay. Take to Justin's camera right there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda <laughs> Lambert and L. King holding it down for the country. Songstresses walking together. They are probably going to be getting drunk tonight. I hope they are. Because, and by like the way, their song said, they're getting drunk tonight. You know what? You take the rappers. I <laughs> bet you Miranda Lambert and L. King and a 12 pack of Chorus Light is a damn good time oh, in Nashville. Confirmed it's a damn good time. Do you see those green nails? She knows how to party. You know what? We're, we're going to take you out with a little Justin Sylvester and Heidi Klum walk off. If yeah, you want, that's but... what I was teasing. <laughs> Let's show it. Roll that tape of Justin Sylvester and Heidi Klum doing that. We're off. No, we, we have go. it in We got to okay, get fine, an air We got to go. All right, you guys. That is a wrap. This red carpet has been too hot to handle. It's a blaze. Uh, that is right. The Billboard Music Awards are just moments away. And they're airing live on NBC and Peacock, and I, I'm Justin Sylvester. You are still Justin Sylvester this entire show, and Justin I'm Sylvester X. Aaron Limrodes. <laughs> I want to thank all of you guys for just tuning in, and all of our guests. Thank you guys, and all of you who've been tweeting. We've been reading those comments. Yeah. We love you guys. So keep it locked on all things E for the Billboard Music Awards. Have a great night, you guys. Goodbye. You guys, the greatest moment of my life. There it is.